Hey guys, I'm Neeti Nesikin. I missed filming so much. I know you guys would be like, missed? What do you mean? We've been seeing your con content so much lately. But I have pre-recorded all of those videos and I filmed a lot, lot of those videos way ahead and I haven't sat down to film in over a week and I've already started to miss it. So anyways, today's video is gonna be about this foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And if you guys are like, okay, are you out of your mind? We've already seen this product so many times on your channel and we already know your thoughts about this. We know it's your favorite, <laughs> but that's not the point of this video. So I have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Praline. This is the one that I was always using, right? But a lot of you guys ask me like, how is this shade compared to some of their other shades? So I thought I'll just make it a little bit easier, maybe, try out another shade from this range so i went ahead and picked up the shade sand as well so i think this would help a lot of people because a lot of you guys are similar to my skin tone you're probably like looking at which shade to pick up or uh, something that is your exact shade match i'm not sure if this is my exact shade match but i'm just going to be trying that out in today's video so anyways, I am an NC42 in MAC, which is a little bit darker for my skin tone, but I have told this in every other video and now I would sound like a broken record, but I love that shade on myself. I like something a little bit warmer more than something that is a little bit neutral. So that's the reason I even have the shade Praline because I feel like, yeah, it is a little bit dark for my skin tone. It is a little bit on the warmer side but i just like how it looks on my skin you know sometimes it's just that you buy foundations online and you're not sure what is going to suit you so you just stick to something that you feel like looks good on yourself and i have worn this foundation out so many times and i have worn these for special occasions as well because i own this foundation for over two years at least so that's the reason i Thought I'll get the shade sand and try this out. So both of these foundations retail for 2,700 rupees each on Nykaa. Uh, they don't really have any discounts as such on Too Faced, uh, like like a flat 10 or 15, nothing like that. No flat discounts, but they offer buy two get one. So if you were looking to customize your shade and you also wanted to pick up the concealer, you can do that at this time. Let's get started. I have already uh, prepped my skin with my usual serum and my moisturizer, which I talk about in every other video of mine. So let's get started with the primer. The primer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I thought I don't really like this primer that much because it's just like, your moisturizer but i've started to love it like i kind of like it with this uh, foundation some of the foundations uh, is it an absolute must have not really if you don't want some primers that just can be easily replaced with your moisturizer then you don't really have to buy it So this primer has somewhat of like a coconut kind of a scent to it. So if you are allergic to those kind of scents, I would avoid this primer for sure. I mean, a lot of people find coconut scents to be very nauseating. So I'm not color correcting or anything of that sort because I want you guys to see the actual shade of the foundation. I'm going to be comparing both the foundation side by side. So probably I shouldn't have primed my skin because I might, I will be removing it. But okay, it's okay. So firstly, I will be swatching the shade Praline. So that's the shade Praline. I am not giving a very thick swatch because that's not how you apply foundations, right? You apply foundations blended. So I'm going to give you like sort of like a lighter swatch. You guys can see it is a little bit on the orange toned warmer side, uh, but it works really well, especially if you don't want to color correct and around your pigmentation. So some people use foundations like, you know, they use a darker shade on their pigmentation somewhere around like around their outer perimeters of their face and inner perimeter, they use a sort of lighter shade. So you can use it however you want. Now I'm going to be swatching the shade Sand. So this is the shade Praline and this is the shade Sand. So take a good look at both these swatches. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking off the foundation from my face. I'm going to keep the shade sand because on this side I'm going to be using the shade sand and on this side I'm going to be using the shade praline. So praline all over my skin firstly. I don't even have like a swatching palette. My hand is my palette. And then applying the shade sand all over my face. With this foundation you just don't really need a lot. You need a little bit like good one full pump to get good medium coverage um, you can build this one up but i like to keep it more skin like so 
because I'm doing half ha half and half, I am taking a little less. The reason I'm applying it everywhere, even where I have pigmentation is because I want to see how it would conceal if you're not someone who color corrects as well. So anyways, let's get started. On this side of my face, I'm going to be blending it with my Pro Art AK42 brush. So this is the coverage you get with about half a pump of the foundation. So I'm going to be taking a little bit more of the shade Sand and just getting my coverage up a little bit, just where I need it especially towards this part. I don't really mind my forehead being like this, but I want a little more coverage right here. And I just feel like I need more product because it's not covering up anything. Maybe because the pigmentation of my skin is peeking through. So this is what the shade looks like. It does look a tad bit too light for my skin tone, but I'm gonna give it some time to rest on my skin while I blend this side off, which it's been a while. I need to blend this. Blending it with my favorite cups and lashes brushes. So this is what both the foundations look like. You guys can see there's a definite tone difference between both the foundations. The shade Praline is like warmer but um, kind of gelling well with my skin tone but this one is making my skin look a little bit ashy. When you first pump it out on your skin it looks like it is a little bit warm but when you blend it out and apply it on your skin it is just not the shade for my skin tone. So yeah I'm gonna just let the foundation be as it is while we conceal underneath the eyes. I'm just gonna be concealing only underneath the eyes because I want you guys to see the pigmentation around my mouth and how it looks once it uh, kind of settles in for just a little bit more. So this concealer, I have it in the shade Sand. So I haven't found my perfect match in this. I'm not sure if the shade Warm Sand would be good. I really need to try it out. I'll probably pick it up next sale. This is a nice concealer if you want like coverage but not drying your skin out. I like it in that terms. So while I finished my concealer, I also did my eyes because that is not the point of this video. So this is how the concealer looks. It is a pretty full coverage concealer, but this shade Sand is a highlighting concealer for my skin tone. So I use it just on days where I use it with makeup, but not so much on a daily basis. I need an exact shade match for my skin tone. So I have let the foundation rest on my skin for a while. I didn't go ahead with blush, bronzer, highlighter, nothing of that sort because I want to show you guys. When you apply all of that, it sort of like uh, kind of doesn't show you true to color. So this is how the foundation looks right now. So I can clearly, clearly see that the shade Sand is a little bit too light for my skin tone and the shade Praline is just working really well with my skin tone. I'm not sure if the shade Warm Sand would work for our skin tone, but this shade in Praline was made in collaboration with um, Jackie Aina and uh, she got out the shade because she felt like people uh, of like somewhere in between skin tones were not able to find their right shade match in the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you're someone who follows Nabella Noor, so she kept her in mind and created this shade. So she felt like you know a lot of South Asian skin tones were kind of like missed when they originally launched the Too Faced Spawn This Way foundation. So this was a shade extension to their original foundation and she did this in collaboration with Too Faced. So you can see this foundation in um, Praline just looks really nice on my skin tone. I don't really need to use a lot of color corrector, a lot of correcting to do because the shade just works really well and it does have a really good coverage and it has a beautiful sheen on the skin. So now I am going to apply like bronzer, blush and everything so that you guys can see how it looks once you apply all of that. So when there are some foundation shades that are a little bit lighter for your skin tone, you can always kind of fix it a little bit with concealer and like contour, bronzer, blush and everything. So once you have your full face of makeup on, the shade wouldn't look as bad. So now that we're done with bronzing and highlighting, what do I I think I think that I still do really like the shade praline on my skin because I feel like it just works beautifully for our skin tone but I think the shade sand is a little bit too neutral and um, lighter for my skin tone and I don't really like how it looks I feel like it looks a little bit ashy on my skin and I really love this foundation and if you get the right shade match it just looks like skin it's so beautiful so dewy so I would recommend definitely sticking to the shade Praline if you are of an NC42 skin tone. Um, it would work even if you are a shade darker than NC42. I, I think that's the next shade is NC43. Is there a 43? So the next darker shade of NC42 also can pull off the shade Praline. But if you are lighter than that skin tone, like this NC42, I think it would look a little bit too warm on your skin. So you'd probably have to mix it in with some other foundations. So 
I'm not sure if there is an in-between shade for sand and praline or I know one of you guys would definitely let me know in the comment section down below and uh, whatever is right I will pin that comment up because I feel like it would help a lot of people but if you have second thoughts about the performance of this foundation how it would look I would definitely recommend picking this one up if you have normal skin dry skin type combination skin type i'm not sure how this foundation would fare on very oily skin because i don't really have oily skin type and i wouldn't be able to let you guys know how it would look but people with normal dry skin this is such a beautiful foundation that looks like skin doesn't look too much on the skin you can keep it light coverage medium coverage or medium high coverage and i would stop at that because you don't want to make it look too much on the skin right the whole point of this foundation is to make it look like your skin but better and it has a very good wear time i have worn this for throughout the day and everything and it looks so beautiful it photographs really well it doesn't crease cake as much on my uh, face same goes with the concealer as well though i have a warmer shade it doesn't oxidize to a shade darker so you can pick up a shade darker if you are someone who likes those kind of foundation shades on yourself so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i hope i um let you guys know which shade you can pick like if you wanted to pick the shade praline or sand i hope i helped you make a decision and i hope this video is helpful because i'm not sure if this video is going to be helpful for anyone but i just thought i should make this because uh, there is a lot of doubt about the shades and i wanted to just clear the air so yeah let me know what is your perfect shade in the Too faced bond this way foundation along with your other foundation reference so that uh, people can read through the comments and buy the their right shade because they can't go to the store and pick it up right now so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye